So ever wish you could go from a uh, pretty bad read like this to a perfectly good read. Uh, I can show you how with a uh, read retry. In this case, this is a Hynix ADDE 94D2 MLC NAND chip. Uh, it uh, used to be listed as a problem chip, but uh, I'll show you how you can get a perfect read from it. Okay, so we're going to start off with having Hynix V1 and uh, initialize all the values for it to zero. Um, next, we're gonna plot um, all the read retry values uh, against ECC data. You don't technically have to do it against ECC data, but for the purpose of this illustration, I'm going to show it to you against ECC data. Um, so I already have it plotted out, but uh, I'll just show you what goes on. Um, as you can see here, it's incrementing through uh, each one of the read retry registers for this NAND chip and uh, trying every single value to see what it looks like. So what it does is it plots every value and you can look at that plot and figure out what the correct value is. With ECC enabled, um, it lets you correlate those values against ECC data. On TLC NAND chips, you can't really do that, but on an MLC NAND chip, you can. So it'll help me show you how to, uh, or help me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I already have a plot set up, um, so I don't need to do this. Um, what you'll see is that when you go through each one of the registers, um, you'll have a plot line like this. Um, there are two different types of registers, maybe three, but for this example, there are two. Um, one is the most significant byte register, and the other is a least significant byte, or an offset register is what I call it. Um, so the most significant byte register will look like this, where it has a, a line going from top to bottom or bottom to top. Um, the red line is the one we care about. Um, and because we checked ECC, we have a green line over here. Uh, what this green line sign uh, signifies is that in this area, all the uh, data started turning uh, green from red. Um, if you don't have ECC checked, what you can do is uh, look at the red line and see where it starts to level out. Uh, these two, technically over here would also count, or up here would count too, but um, the areas where it levels out are here and here. So if you didn't have ECC enabled or if this was a TLC NAND chip, the area where you'd want to start looking is over here or over here. Uh, same thing with this. Um, you'd either want to look over here or over here. Um, in this case, uh, B0 would be probably the best value to use uh, because it's in the middle of a uh, uh, the level area and over here 60 in hexadecimal is probably the best value to use. Um, Flash extractor will try to guess the best value to use. It's not necessarily going to be in the middle. Um, it uses the number of green uh, sectors in combination with the time and value, but because time is going to be pretty close around here, um, it's not necessarily going to be the exact value, but like I said, I usually go for the middle um, area where the line levels out. Okay, so if you want to look here at register number two, 60. So if we go in here, we can plug in the value 60 and do constant read. Uh, what we'll see is that every um, page that is assigned to that register will turn green. And if we do the same thing for register number three, which is B0, everything assigned to that register turns green as well. Pretty cool. All right, now if you want to uh, look at the offset registers. This is what they look like uh, once you plug in the correct values for the uh, major 
uh, most significant byte register. Um, they go from here having uh, no green data, or sorry, going from no green data to having uh, green data through almost the entire range. Um, so you could say that 40 is a correct value if you wanted to, although, um, you know, it's preference. In this case, we don't have to. And over here, you can see that the uh, uh, there was no green data um, on originally, um, and that the values were all over the place. Whereas now um, the red line pretty much just mirrors the blue line over here, um, and green is over here uh, where it leveled out. Uh, so you could use a value of 10 over here, and let's say a value of 60, because like I said, I use the middle values. And let's see, so I'm zero, I'm gonna use 10. Uh, sorry, what did I say I was going to do? On one, I'm going to use 10, sorry. On one, I'm going to use 10. And on zero, I'm going to use 40. So constant read, everything looks good. You can scroll through any part of the dump now. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. And uh, that's how you go from having a really poor quality dump like this to having an all green dump.